When I smoke weed, I like to listen to music and dance. Cause I'm goofy. When I'm sober, I feel connected to the music. When I'm high, I'm absorbed in it. The other week, I was in mid-dance, and someone opened the door and interrupted me. I just froze bewildered. That's sacrilegious. Imagine a pilgrim walking in on the middle of a powwow. Some tribes would scalp you for that offense. So I just stared them down with stone cold serial killer eyes until they left the room and resumed again. One way you know your high is coming down is when you start listening to shitty music. But occasionally a kick-ass song can bring your high back. It's a stoner phenomenon. Have you ever been stoned and listened to a song that you have as your ringtone? It's confusing and chaotic. I had to change the song because I kept checking my phone paranoid as a schizoid and was about to fastball thrown to the wall out of frustration. I'm not your stereotypical stoner. I like to clean when I'm high. My intentions are good, but the results suck. It's not easy fucking around with buns and tangled power cords. It's like walking into a spaceship and trying to fly it. I finally get sober enough to straighten everything out and then get high again and get it done. I believe if weed was legalized, paranoia and stoners would drop 70%. They can't get busted for doing something legal. And what I really appreciate about weed is you can scrape up dropped weed for days. Though eventually the weed to dust ratio is unfavorable. In fact, I purposely spill weed every time I pack a bowl. You gotta prepare for the unkind future. I tried donating a desk to the Salvation Army, but they said they couldn't take it because the top drawer was green. What happened to the phrase, beggars can't be choosers? I don't want to throw this dress away. Whatever happened to going green? I'm sure some hoarder would pay a dollar for it. Whenever I smoke weed and my mom smells it, which is every time, she always goes for a walk. And she's out of shape, so I figure the more weed I smoke, the more exercise she gets. It's win-win. You call it getting high. I call it caregiving. To hell with anyone who says I'm not a loving son. I sacrifice my sobriety and brain cells so she can get more exercise. I used to get pissed off when I saw someone fake hit a pipe. There's no smoke or fire. I thought they were posers. Now I'm older, I'm like, if they are high enough and don't want to look like pussies for saying no, like a dare graduate, let it be. Who am I to judge? That just means more weed hits for me. They just better not be a narc.